My name is Rachel. I am the Carnegie Branch Manager. I think that folks don't know the resources that we have. Um, researching Brazos County history and Brazos Valley history is far more important than people think it is. We have plenty of resources. Our documents date back to the 1750s. We have here on our holdings some really great treasures. We have from the Walker Estate a very poignant but very important to our history. It's a bill of sale of a young Negro girl. And that is a quote from the actual document from 1858. And one of my favorite things is that you read over it and you get all these goosebumps and these chills, but then you know having the hindsight of history that in 1865, you, you know, the, the war ends and the, the thought of her receiving her freedom when the bill of sale said she will be a, a slave for life is, I'm actually getting bumps right now. So it's a fantastic piece. And then we have little intricate things like the interurban railway that ran for about 10 or 12 years between Bryan and College Station to take core boys, professors, and other folks to the campus where it was just called college at that point. It wasn't even College Station. And so it looks like a San Francisco trolley that folks would get on a small deck, not even a station to stop at. They'd get on this small wooden deck and they'd wait for the interurban trolley and we have tickets that have survived that were found, I believe, at the Cabot House. And so they date pre-1912 or so, so it's really interesting. And then we have lovely collections of different local history. The one I'm working on intensively right now is the Anna Ludmila G collection. And she is a world famous ballerina from starting from when she was age 13 all the way through the 50s and 60s until she retired here into the 70s. Even then, she didn't really retire. She had built another studio to teach folks, and she's just a humble, wonderful lady that came here because she loved Aggie Land and her son was an Aggie. So, lots and lots of secret treasures that you can put your hands on.